It's better at Burke. Better care, better service, better price. Hey there, South Jersey. I'm Pete Thompson from the Cape May County Herald, and this is Under Review. Under Review brought to you by the Burke Motor Group. It's better at Burke. If you're looking for our weekly high school football recap, check out Under Review from Tuesday, October 31st on Halloween. Now, each Thursday in the fall, we recap the week that was with the other sports, and they include field hockey, girls and boys soccer, and girls tennis. And for week number eight, they also include cross country again, as we have highlights from the Cape Atlantic League Championships. We also have field hockey playoff highlights from Middle Township at home against Pennsville in Group 1 South. And we have highlights from Wildwood Catholic Boys Soccer as the Crusaders host Gloucester Catholic in the non-public South B playoff. Plus, we'll check in with all the other playoff teams from our Super 6 schools as we see where they stand. But first, we begin with Boys playoff soccer as Wildwood Catholic and Gloucester Catholic square off in the first round of the South non-public B playoffs. Our camera's on hand in Stone Harbor as the Crusaders in white are a four seed. The Rams in burgundy and gold are a 13 seed. Both teams sort of feeling each other out for most of the first half. However, 31st minute, number five, Beck Lindsay sends one in front. It's number eight, Taylor on troop, who puts it home. Wildwood Catholic takes a one nil lead into the halftime break. Second half action now moving right to left. Watch as Rams keeper James Bartolotto comes off his line to challenge. Hey now. There's challenge, and then there's a foul. This is a foul. In fact, it's a red card foul and infraction. It leads to number five, Beck Lindsay getting a penalty kick, and against the backup keeper, too, because the main guy had the foul. Lindsay converts it to make it a two-nothing game. You can feel the momentum swinging toward the Crusaders because... Just about a minute or so later, Wildwood Catholic on the move again. Number 10, Jared Wallace sends one in. Number 19, C.J. Diegler right on the doorstep for the finish. 3-0 Crusaders at this point. 4-0 is the final. Wildwood Catholic wins to improve to 12-3 and 1 on the season. The Crusaders will host number 5, Moorestown Friends next in the second round on Friday. Checking other boys' playoff soccer scores now as Ocean City in one seed in Group 3 South. The Red Raiders put up an eighth spot against number 16, Bridgeton. Luke Varello, Hunter Payone, and Anthony Insera, each with two goals apiece for the Red Raiders. They are now 16-2-1 as they will host number 9, Lacey Township, next in the quarterfinals. In Group 2 South, Middle Township loses a heartbreaker on the road at Oakcrest. The Panthers up 2-1 in the second half against the Falcons, but 3-2 to two the final in overtime. David Gardner and Matt Brown with the Middle Township goals. Panthers fall to 9-8-1 and one with the loss. In Lower Cape May, a 15 seed there at number 2 Haddonfield. 7-zip the final there. Keeper Tigers close out a 6-win season. Finally in Group 1 South, number 14 Wildwood has to travel to number 3 Pittman. 7-1 to one, the final in that contest. Kion Flanders with the lone goal for the Warriors. Keeper Dennis Olgoon. 17 saves. Wildwood ends the season at 8 and 11 for now. That's boys playoff soccer. In girls playoff soccer, five of our Super 6 teams are in the postseason. We'll start with Ocean City, Group 3 South. Red Raiders, the top seed there. Freshman Faith Slimmer with a pair of goals, a key pair of second half goals for OC. They beat number 16 Central Regional 4 zip. Ocean City now 17 and 2. They'll take on number 8 Gloucester Tech next. Group 2 South, number 11, Middle Township, shut out at number 6, Cedar Creek, 5-0. The score there. Panthers are young, so they will be back. Bob Wishart's team finishes a rebuilding year at 6-11-1. And, and it's a tough result for number 12, Lower Cape May. Keeper Tigers battle hard at number 5, Point Pleasant Borough, but fall 1-0. Marissa Giancola, 11 saves for LCM. They finish the season at 8-10. And, and in Group 1 South, Wildwood blanked at Haddon Township 7-zip. 
Nora Caruo with three saves for the Warriors. They finish the season at 6-12. and 12. Last but not least in non-public South B, Wild and Catholic, a tough task. They go down 9 to nothing at number two, Morristown Friends for now. That's the latest on girls' playoff soccer. We'll turn to field hockey next as number four, Middle Township, shocks number one, Woodstown, winning three to two in overtime in group one South semifinal action. Freshman Kate Hurley, the goal with three minutes and four seconds left in the first overtime to win it. Middle Township now 12 and nine. They're back in the sectional final for the second year in a row. They'll travel to number two, Shallock, next. And in Group 3 South, you can see the progression as Ocean City gets a two seed. They beat Timber Creek in the quarters, five to one. They knock off their arch rival mainland, five to two in the semis. And then they will now face the top seed, Clearview, in the Group 3 South final. Group 2 South, number five, Lower Cape May, puts up a good fight. But the Cape Tigers field hockey fall to three, three to one to number three Cedar Creek, and that is girls field hockey. That leaves us with cross country. Our thanks to Mike Franco from SNJ today for these highlights as they hold the boys and girls Cape Atlantic championships out at the Millville Motor Speedway last week. Will Berger, Berger from Lower Cape May wins the boys race with a time of 16:09. He's a senior for Lower Cape May. Jesse Schmeiser from Ocean City comes in third, just three seconds behind at 16-12. Ocean City, by the way, winning the boys' team title as well. On the girls' side of things, there's Alyssa Aldridge from Mainland, of course, and then there's everybody else. But the everybody else, well, they're not so bad either. Three girls from Ocean City, they finished third, fifth, and sixth. That's Alexa Weber, Casey McLeese, and Alexa Palmieri. Isn't Alexa that thing where you're like, Alexa, tell me the weather. Uh, they're actually athletes in this case. Okay, enough of my PT being PT. All right, that brings us out of the scoreboards and back out here on camera to tell you that don't forget about my colleague, Steph Sella. She shoots all the video and edits all the highlights here and basically does a lot of the lion's share of the work. I'm sitting in front of the camera, but she's the one that shoots all the stuff. So if you see her out and about at your event, it would be nice if you went up to her and said, hey, Steph Sella. Nice job with Under Review. Our next Under Review then will be week number nine of high school football. The playoff cutoff date is coming. So week number nine, that'll be fun to see. That'll come your way on Tuesday, November the 7th, which, by the way, is also Election Day. So get out and vote. No complaining unless you get out and vote. There you go. That's my public service now. Don't forget, if you have a story idea or suggestion, you can email me at pthompson at cmcherald.com. That is p-t-h-o-m-p-s-o-n at cmcherald.com. Also, for faster scores and news, find us on Facebook by clicking like on the Cape May County Sports page or where you are on Twitter as well by going to at cmcheraldsports. Again, this is week number eight of 2017 for under review for the other fall sports. Under review, of course. Hey, it's brought to you by the Burke Motor Group. It's better at Burke. I can't say that enough. Hope to see you right back here on Tuesday for week number eight of high school football. But until then, thanks for watching.